co-workers of a woman who was shot and killed two weeks ago came together for a candlelight vigil to share memories and celebrate the life of Susan Long. 7 News reporter Tony Cedrone went to the vigil and spoke with those who knew her the best. Friday, November 20th, employees at Suntex Printing in Woodruff heard gunshots in the parking lot. When police arrived, they found 43-year-old Susan Long dead inside a vehicle. Long's co-workers at Suntex Printing say they're going to miss her around the office and most importantly as a friend. They held a candlelight vigil, shared memories and comforted each other on the night before she's laid to rest. She's just like a bubbly person. She's like warm hearted. We all loved her. Brandon Caldwell says Long was his mentor. She taught me everything I knew over here at the shop. She was the one that taught me how to run the machine I did. He says he formed a special bond with her. She brought candy almost every day. And saying how I'm the youngest that works here, uh, I'm the one that's a sugar fanatic, and she'd always surprise me. But that doesn't come as a surprise for family members, as they say she was a role model to everyone she came in contact with. She puts others before herself, and that's, I want to be more like that. And set an example for her colleagues. One life lesson that she taught you. Don't hold a grudge, because if you hold a grudge, it will eat at you and eat at you, and then that grudge will reflect your future. As they held hands, they blew out their candles and said goodnight until tomorrow. She will be missed. She will be greatly missed. Everything that you said that she was, why not mimic that in your own life? To be a giver. To be the gift that keeps on giving. In Woodruff, Tony Cedrone, 7 News. Long's estranged husband, Paul Jeter, is charged with her murder. He's being held at the Spartanburg County Detention Center without bond.